हमारा देश साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी के क्षेत्र में निरंतर तरक्की कर रहा है साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी के क्षेत्र में काउंसिल ऑफ साइंटिफिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च एक अहम योगदान दे रहा है सी का क्या विजन और मिशन है आइए जानते हैं सी की पहली महिला डायरेक्टर जनरल डॉक्टर एन कले सेल्वी से डॉक्टर एन कले सेल्वी आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है डीडी मॉर्निंग शो के टेक इनोवेटर सेगमेंट में नमस्कार एन वनकम सी एस आई आर का विजन क्या है और किस तरीके से ये कार्य करती है सी एस आई आर द काउंसिल ऑफ साइंटिफिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च द विजन इज टू केटेड टू इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज थ्रू इंडिजीनियस साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज वी और अ बिग फैमिली कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ थर्टी सेवन नेशनल लेबोरेटरीज अक्रॉस द कंट्री टचिंग अपॉन ऑल द डायमेंशन ऑफ साइंस बी इट फिजिकल साइंसेस केमिकल साइंसेस biological sciences engineering sciences mathematical and theoretical and informational sciences everywhere we have a minimum of two or three laboratories and therefore our ultimate aim is to cater to the requirement of indian industries and the society at large with an ultimate aim of reaching the unreached part of this society through indigenous science and technology अगर बात सी एस आई आर के मिशन की करें तो किन प्राथमिक कार्यों को लेकर सी एस आई आर काम करती है कमिंग टू द प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ सी एस आई आर लेबोरेटरीज अवर एम इज एज आई टोल्ड इट इज टू केटर टू द इंडस्ट्रीज एंड टू द सोसाइटी सो वी फ्रॉम सी एस आई आर वी आर वर्किंग अंडर एट डिफरेंट टीम्स विद द मेन एम ऑफ केटरिंग टू द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फाइव बेसिक सिक्योरिटीज ऑफ दिस नेशन what are those five securities one is food security the other one is water security the third one is energy security fourth one is health care security and the last one is strategic security therefore all the eight thematic directorates covering all the 37 national laboratories we try our level best to come up with a kind of science technology and innovative solutions to cater to the requirements of all the five securities which are essential for any country for which india is not an exception scientific research or industrial development ke kshetra mein csir ki abhi tak kya kuch khas uplabdhiyan rahi hain csir is an 80 year old organization and to our credit in our kitty we have accomplishments and i would say every bit of indian industries development as well as the societal development it has csir's contribution in one form or the other i will just take one simple example the government of india by taking very sincerely into account the sustainable development goals and especially the sustainable development goal of increasing doubling the farmers income i think we from csir we have prioritized it and we made it as one mission called aroma mission so under aroma mission we are helping the farmers to cultivate aroma crop cash crop and now if you just go to the different parts of the country several thousands of hectares are getting cultivated with the csar's aroma mission related activities we are helping them to come up with the cash crops and aroma crops for their cultivation for their maintenance even after post harvesting i would say processing in many cases it involves extraction of oil we help them how to extract the oil even for extraction of oil we just offer them the distillation units even that extracted oil how to reach the market there also we are helping them therefore i would say from end to end starting from cultivation up to the market reach of the product we are hand holding the farmers and our scientists they go to the field work with farmers have dialogues with the farmers get them connected through the ngos and take them to the market for their product and commercialization and through a third party evaluation it is now made very clear in several areas the farmers income has increased to the tune of 2.5 to 3 times especially when they grow lemongrass lavender and marigold 
देश के समग्र विकास को ध्यान में रखते हुए सी की लैब्स अपने प्राथमिकता क्षेत्रों को कैसे ध्यान में रखती है कैसे चुनती है इंडिया इज एन अमेजिंग कंट्री सो वेन दी सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स और डिक्लेट countries like india we have taken it with utmost importance and interest and we from csir country's largest publicly funded research organization whatever is getting prioritized by the government of india it goes without saying that that becomes the prioritized research areas of csir therefore all the sustainable development goals sdgs are getting priority in csir to make our plan vision mission and to set the goals and road map also that is why based on the sustainable development goals eight thematic directorates are working and we are working for aerospace development water related technologies energy related technologies chemicals including leather i would say and we have four m coverage meaning is mining metals materials and minerals and of course health care which talks about one health and we have one another area which we call it as e3ow ecology environment and oceanography so to that extent we are taking care of it another thing is civil infrastructure because country is thinking in a big way about smart cities also therefore we are also into it through that civil infrastructure area so these are the eight thematic areas by means of which we are making the country's prioritized areas to get their importance in the field of science technology and innovation innovations aur pradyogiki ko badhava dene ke liye csir dwara jo bhi mahatvapurna karya aur projects kiye ja rahe hain unke bare mein aap kya kehna chahenge when country is thinking in one direction csir will be parallelly thinking in a way how best i can complement the efforts of the government for example country is coming up with a national hydrogen mission but we from csir two and a half years back we started our own csir hydrogen mission which is not totally different from country's mission it is complementing to country's mission wherein we are thinking about how best hydrogen could be generated especially green hydrogen could be generated how best hydrogen could be utilized maybe in the form of fuel cells and how best energy hydrogen energy could be stored now we are thinking about type 4 cylinders for hydrogen storage so if you just see the agenda of national hydrogen mission it is one at the same उद्योग और अन्य अनुसंधान संगठनों के साथ सी एस आई आर कैसे सहयोग करता है इफ यू जस्ट सी द नेम ऑफ सी एस आई आर इट इज काउंसिल ऑफ साइंटिफिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च मेनी टाइम्स वी यूज टू से इट शुड बी एन इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च दीज डेज वी कॉल इट एस इट शुड बी एन इंडिजीनियस इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च एंड ऑल्सो वी जस्ट मेक इट एस अनदर पॉइंट दैट इट शुड बी एन इनोवेटिव इंडिजीनियस इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च दैट फोर whatever science we do in the laboratory it should find its relevance to indian industries it should be an indigenous research and it should have innovation component therefore we work with industries in project mode in technology transfer mode also scientific research or innovation ke mamle mein csir ki bhavishya ki yojnaon ka lakshya kya hai the future of csir uh, in my opinion is going to be very much excited because once upon a time uh, we were blamed that all the time we will be practicing someone's technology meaning is we will be taking the back seat only so all the time the intriguing question is when am i going to take the driving seat when am i going to take the lead role if i am willing to take the lead role will it be possible will i be recognized will i get acceptance will the globe accept india to become a leader these were the questions remaining as unanswered questions for several years but now country also started celebrating science scientists scientific research we are coming up with number of interesting science technology and innovation and days are not so far off 
India is going to lead the entire globe. Whether we believe it or not, I think the globe started feeling. I used to tell my own scientific community, next 6 to 7 years are critically, crucially important for the country and it is going to be much more challenging to the science and technology innovation community like us, because these 6 years are going to decide the fate of the country for the next 6 decades. So, if we do a great work, commendable work in these 6 years, next 6 decades we are going to be celebrated by all other nations in the global arena. Believe it or not, the entire CSAR family, we are fully geared up and we are fully aware of the fact that if we from CSAR, if we rise to the occasion, only then the nation can rise to the occasion and if the nation rises to the occasion. I think uh, days are not so far off. All other nations are ready to celebrate us because they have already accepted our national leadership. Soon they will accept India's scientific leadership also. We will become the leader of the globe. CSIR के अद्भुत योगदान और कार्यों के बारे में आपने हमें इतने विस्तार से बताया. उसके लिए आपका बहुत-बहुत शुक्रिया. So viewers, stay curious, stay inspired. And keep exploring the world of science and technology in DD Morning Show with our special segment that is Tech Innovators.